This is my CMF Phone 2 Pro and I've been using it for quite some time now. Now, you know, CMF phones, basically nothing phones in general, have a really, really nice user experience and UI. Now, we've seen this time and time again. The operating system and the software based on the latest Android really does a lot of good things for everybody who's like us, who likes customizing their phones. Now, this phone that I have here, I've been using it for a while now, but as you can see that this phone's UI is completely stock till now and I haven't customized it and I've just been using it with the basic set of apps and widgets and style that it comes with. In today's video, I thought I would go ahead and customize it by myself and I would also share the process with all of you guys so that we could have a fun CMF phone customization. Now this phone comes with a lot of really great specifications under this price point. Running on nothing was 3.2 based on Android 15, the Dimensity 7300 Pro 5G processor, a pretty good screen and all it needs is some love and attention to make it looking absolutely incredible. So if you already have a CMF Phone 2 Pro or you're planning on buying this and just want to see what kind of customization is possible, in today's video, we are going to be diving deep into that. Yo, what's up guys? Anubhav here and uh, let's not waste any time. Let's directly start customizing our new CMF Phone 2 Pro. Okay, starting things up guys, obviously I want to start with the lock screen. For this, we'll click and hold on the lock screen, unlock if you have a password and now we will have the lock screen customization. At the top, you can first go ahead and set up different widgets. I will obviously pick this one. I think it looks the cleanest and the best looking and I think it will act as a great way to start our customization journey. Now, secondly, we can now add lock screen widgets in Nothing OS 3.0, which is a really fun way to, you know, add more information at a glance to your lock screen. You can also expand this lock screen widget area but this will minimize the clock so that is not something that I would prefer doing. Now going through the list of widgets there are many widgets like a compass, a battery as well as weather and date information. I'm just gonna play around with a couple of them see how they look make sure the sizing is correct so that it doesn't look very imposing and still looks clean and then go ahead and add the widgets that I like. So there's a pedometer widget which I think is really cool it lets you see how many steps you've taken and you can view it directly from the lock screen. Of course you can add some weather information as well and overall basically you want to customize the area as well to see the best kind of uh, you know widgets that you can have i think this is a great way to add some quick settings into your lock screen as well so i can go ahead and add any quick setting that i want i can select a torch or i can select airplane mode for example if i want to quickly toggle that feature you know whenever i travel and i move around so yeah overall in this area basically add the widgets that you think will look good on your phone and that are useful to you and you should be good to go. Okay, so this is the final layout that I went with. A battery icon, a compass and a pedometer. Did not fill it up with the rest of the space because I thought it looks clean enough and I don't want to mess this setup up. The next thing that we want to do after we've customized the clock and the widgets is obviously go ahead and check out the wallpaper. Now, Nothing has a lot of really cool Nothing OS wallpapers, colors and a wallpaper studio to generate wallpapers with. For demonstration purposes, let's select this blue one. I think it looks really, really good and it's a cool looking wallpaper. So I'm going to select this, set it as my wallpaper. Here we have two settings, an atmosphere option that will turn your home screen into a sort of live wallpaper match to your lock screen and a glass option that will make this glass like look on your lock screen. So I'm going to turn both of them on and now you can see the wallpaper transitions very nicely into the home screen wallpaper as well. And I think that is pretty good to go for the lock screen settings. The next thing that I want to do that most of you might not know about is the fact that this phone actually has an always on display, but it is buried inside the display settings. Make sure you turn it on after you go to display and from here you can actually view your widgets even when the screen is off and it does a nice little transition. Looks really good so if you don't have that on make sure you turn it on. Now you know guys the CMF Phone 2 Pro is a very value for money budget phone that you can get your child or your relative. However if this is somebody who's not an adult and you want to make sure that they don't get into the wrong circles especially if they are accessing the internet for the first time let me talk about an application that will actually take a lot of this headache away from you and let your child enjoy your phone and also put you in peace. 
enter mspy which is one of the best parental control apps out there now this is an app that i have spoken about at length in the past before but today i want to talk about the additional features that are available in the extreme plan if you go ahead and opt out for that from mspy's website this gives you access to a lot of really cool features like call recording live screenshots as well as live screen streaming and you can do all of this after you have access to the extreme plan and now let me show you these features in action which really take your parental control level to the next level. There's also a surroundings uh, record section, which I think is really cool. You can actually tap into the microphone of your child's phone and hit on listen now or start recording. To actually listen to the microphone, this can be really helpful in case they are talking to somebody that you don't want them to talk to or just for their general safety. And you can also record an audio file, which I think is really, really cool. Other than that, guys, if we go back, you can also go ahead and hit on messages. So you will be able to see their Instagram or social media messages right from your phone itself which is great in case you don't want them to end up talking to predators etc etc and of course last but not the least is the live camera section which i think is absolutely incredible where you can tap into the front camera of the child's phone remotely on your phone and it will show you in real time where they are in case they are somewhere in danger and you want to get in touch with them you can also go ahead and click a photo and switch the camera to the back camera as well in case that is something that you want to see and i think this this is really really cool now don't worry all of this is completely consensual because on the phone that you will be tracking which is your child's phone you will have a notification which will come all the time saying that m light is running and it may access all of your data and all of your cameras so there's no worries about that this is only meant to be used in parental control scenarios or in case you want to take care of somebody's safety or just have it installed on your own other phone that you can keep a track on of course you can also see the screen time and the most used applications and i genuinely think that if there is a one-stop application that can take care of your parental control needs for your devices or for your loved one devices mspy is one of the best ways to do that with so make sure you go ahead and check it out from the first link in the description below and with that said let's get back to our video okay lock screen and aod is all set now it's time for the home screen settings let's just go to home settings gonna turn off the swipe to access google apps so that i don't accidentally open up the google page and i think it looks cleaner that way after this let's go ahead and hit on customization and from here let's select our icon pack now i will turn it to the nothing icon back and make sure apply to home screen is on after that you want to go to layout and also turn the app grid to five columns and turn off the display bar settings so that the google search widget actually doesn't appear on every screen now a little bit of resizing is needed to make sure that uh, you know our widgets and apps look really really good so that is what we are going to be focusing on so as you can see now i have five icons at the bottom and a google folder that can contains the Google applications and this is the blank canvas that we are going to be starting with. Okay, after this is done, let's head over and add a couple of widgets to this home screen. Obviously, we're going to add a Google search widget. I do want a widget on the main page, but I don't want it to appear on every home screen. So that is what I'm going to be doing here. Just position it to the bottom. And I think this looks really good. After this, guys, I'm going to go to the widget section again and look for nothing OS style widgets because there are a lot of widgets that we have right now. First of all, I'm going to add this quick look widget that tells me the day as well as the date and the weather information position this to the top so you always have that information whenever you unlock your phone after this let's set up a couple of other cool widgets you can see there is a lot of options out there like a screen time widget that will basically show you how long you've been using your phone and i think this is a great way to ensure that you don't spend too much time looking at your phone screen so i'm going to put that on there of course a quick settings panel is a widget that you can add to quickly toggle any option on or off i can can put the auto rotate option over here to quickly toggle it without opening my notification drawer so this can also be really helpful as far as the next widgets are concerned i would obviously love to add a clock widget as well and select this nothing os style clock widget so this also looks really good and you know the idea here is to just play around with the positioning and the different widgets until you come up with a layout that you are really satisfied with of course we can also add a weather widget i really like this weather widget which has two circular elements and a pill like element this looks really really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and add this as well to the home screen now you don't want to add too many widgets you also want to play around with the positioning of them so they actually look good so i'm just gonna play around a little bit and also end up actually adding some app icons and you know nothing os has a really cool feature where you can literally position any app on your home screen let's say your most used app which can be instagram for my case and i can actually go ahead and enlarge
enlarge the icon. So just drop the icon, click and hold on it and hit on this enlarge button. And now you have a bigger icon of a single app. So if you have many most used applications, you can use this and it will also look really, really good. After this, you can also go ahead and add folders. So let me just quickly add a bunch of random apps on my home screen and create a folder out of them. And once the folder is created, you can again enlarge this so that it occupies more area on your home screen. After we have enlarged it, let's just go ahead and add a title to it so that we know what this folder represents. And again, after you click and hold on this, you can actually go ahead and customize the way the folder looks. So if you click and hold on it and hit on customize, you can select from a bunch of folders styles from circle default grid and you can also add a cover where it will have a different icon that you can select and yeah this looks really good i'm going to select the briefcase because it's called a work folder and now as you can see our home screen looks very very good to go and absolutely ready so i can add a bunch of other icons as well to make sure that uh, you know the home screen looks good and i think i am pretty satisfied with the final result so once again we're going to take it from the always on display move on to the lock screen with our widgets added unlock the home screen with the atmosphere live wallpaper and now we have our very customized nothing os 3.2 based home screen setup on the cmf phone 2 pro now just these simple steps can completely transform the look from a boring stock android look where everything looks very normal to an absolutely customized look that looks so so good what do you guys think about this customization let me know in the comments below if you're thinking of buying a cmf phone 2 pro this can be a great guide for you to know how to customize it with this was a really old school video that i did after a long time so i really hope that you guys enjoy this video if you did guys make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel press on the bell icon this is anubhav signing out and i will see you guys in the next one till then take care stay safe and uh, peace out